Hey everybody, welcome to another in my mini series that I like to call Off The Rails, where we take a closer in-depth look at some of the rails that are available for the FireTech firing system. In previous videos, we've covered the 16 channel FQ-16C rail, and we've covered the FireTech FQ-4C rail. In this video, I want to take a closer look at this unusual thing. This is the FireTech FQ-7X series rail with seven channels. Now, I was a bit confused and baffled by this at first because the FireTech system works on 16 channel rails. So each rail can be 16 channels or in the case of the four one, you know, equally divisible by 16, which four is? Seven isn't. <laughs> So seven is an odd number. So I was a little bit confused as to what this was. There's very little information about it, but I've figured out what it is. It basically allows you to connect seven igniters in series. Now, you may have heard about series and parallel, different ways of connecting igniters. If you're using talons, you should always connect those in parallel. If you're using e-match, these kind of things, you can connect them in series, you can connect them in parallel. Different people have different preferences. Personally, I always connect these in series. Now to connect two E-matches in series, normally you take the end off one of them and separate the wires like that. And you do the same with your other one that you wanted to put in series so that they fire together. And you would twist one end from each together, twist it like that. And then the remaining two, this and this would go into your um, firing system and that would then fire both of these matches in series. So this series rail negates that because it allows me to fire multiple ones of these without having to physically twist all the wires together. So it's a seven channel rail but I like to think of this as a one channel rail with seven outputs. I think that's the best way to think of it. So I could put um, an e-match into the first output there and let's say the fifth output there, like so. So I've got two E-matches in there. They will both fire together. Now, how do we control which channel this responds to on a, on a module output? I say there's 16 channels on each of these outputs. So the way we do that is with these jumpers here. There's one that says select X, and one that says select Y. So select X is basically the bank of four you want it to respond to, and this one is the individual channel within that bank of four. So if select X is on zero and select Y is on one, this will respond to channel one. If I move this one across one, it then responds to channel two, move it along channel three, move it along channel four, move this one along one and this one back here, channel five, See, and so on like that. So you could go, if I put this on 12 there and four there, this will then fire on channel 16. So it's got the familiar connectors that are the same on the other rails. What's different about this is it does have quick plugs as well. So if you've got igniters with quick plugs, this is a nice little additional feature there. So I've got two E-matches connected there, but we have to do a little bit more configuration first before this will work. Because if I plug this in to my module here, like so, it comes up and says there's no igniters connected, even though I've got two igniters there. I do get a little flashing red light as well here to indicate um, there's no continuity. So what I have to do is I have to use these little jumpers here to say which of these outputs I've got igniters on. So there are some instructions on the back so set channel with jumpers in place, channel is X and Y, that's what we've done, we've set it to 16. And then we have to close empty igniter slots with the jumper placed horizontally and open use igniter slots with the jumper placed vertically. So the empty ones, or the ones that I haven't got anything connected in, I have to pull this little tab out and push it down there. So there's nothing, there was something on one, so that needs to be vertical, nothing on two, Nothing on three, nothing on four, something on five, nothing on six, and nothing on seven. And you'll see that when I do that, as soon as I do that, I've then got continuity shown on channel 16, which is what I've configured this for. And also the little red flashing light goes off as well. 
So we've got two here that are going to fire on channel 16. Like the other FireTech rails, there's two RJ45 connectors, so I can connect multiple rails together. Let's just, um, oh, I don't think I've got very good continuity on that one. I didn't stick that in fully. Let's push that in, close the lever. That's better. So two E matches there. Let's just um, get those a little bit neater. Oh, I didn't, didn't do another one very well there, did I? That came out. Let's push that in like so and lock that down. There we go, let's just check there. Both in, yep, that's good. So yes, we can daisy chain and when we daisy chain, whatever rails we daisy chain are done in parallel. So if I take a 16 channel rail, for example, and connect the output from this series rail and put it into my 16 channel rail, I could put an igniter in here on Oh, let's pick a number. Let's go for oh, random number generator time. Here we go. We're going to go for number six. <laughs> okay, so we'll put this in here like this. So now I've got an E-match here in six on my 16 channel rail and two E-matches in series. Let's point this away from me. There we go. Two E-matches in series on my little series rail and that's been configured to be on channel 16. So on my module here, I can see I've got continuity on channel six, which is from this rail, continuity on 16 from this series rail here. So let's put this into fire mode. We're gonna arm the system, which I'll cover in another video. Like so, manual fire. And we'll fire the series rail first, which is set to be on channel 16. So three, two, one. It fired both of those together. And then we're gonna fire number six, which is on this rail. So three, two, one. So there we go. That's the series rail, the seven output, one channel as I like to call it, FQ-7X from Firetech. It's really quite new. It's only been out a few months. How useful is it? I don't know. I think probably out in the field, if I've got to put a couple of E-matches in series, I will just twist them together. But as a one channel rail, yeah, it might have its uses. We'll see, the jury's still out. But anyway, this is the Firetech FQ-7X series rail, new from Firetech. And if you enjoyed this video, be sure to check out some more of my Firetech videos on my channel.